Hello, and welcome to How to Embed Microsoft Office Files on your WordPress blog. I'm Rebecca Livermore, the Office Creative. So there's a really cool feature in OneDrive that enables you to embed various file types on your blog or website. Now I'm gonna demonstrate this in WordPress, but it will work in a similar way on other blogging platforms. In this video, I'll demonstrate this process using the following file types, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, OneNote, and finally, PDFs. Now, before I get started, let me say that in order to do this, you first need to either create the documents you want to embed in OneDrive. To do that, it's really easy. You just go to New, and then you select the file type, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, and so on. Okay, so you first need to either create that within OneDrive, or you need to upload a document that you've already created. Okay, so once you've either created your file in OneDrive or you've uploaded it, then we're ready to take the next steps. Now, to get started with OneDrive, go to OneDrive.com and sign into your Microsoft account. If you don't have a Microsoft account, you can set one up for free. Now, for demonstration purposes, I'm going to embed files that are already uploaded to my OneDrive account. Let's start with a Word document. Okay, you select the file and you click on embed. And then you'll notice that it says generate HTML code to embed this file. You just click on generate and then it generates this code right here. So you just grab hold of it. And then you go over to your WordPress site or whatever type of site that you have and you make sure that you're on the text tab rather than the visual tab. So if you're on visual, you need to click over to text and then you paste the document in there. All right, now we'll click on save draft and we will preview. Now you can see that it embedded the Word document and you can scroll down through it. Now one problem is that by the default settings, it's a little bit small and also you have to scroll this way to be able to see. So I'm gonna show you how to fix that. Thankfully, it's really easy. First, hover over where it says a percent. Right now it says 75% and you can see that it says zoom level. Click to open the zoom dialog box. So you click that and I'm gonna make it page width. Okay, and then you scroll down and you click on OK. All right, so now let's go ahead and embed the new code in and see how it makes a difference. Actually, I'm gonna leave that first one there just so you can see the difference side by side. All right, so I pasted it in and click on Save Draft and then we will preview. Okay, you can see there's the original one where you have to scroll and then if you move down, you'll see that the next one has the full page. Now it's still on the small side. You know, like if someone was visiting your site and they wanted to read this, it would be pretty tiny. So let me show you how to fix that. The dimensions for the embed are right here in the HTML code. You have the width of 476 and a height of 288. Now I think that doubling the width would make it too wide for my site. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to increase the width by one and a half. So I'm gonna do 476 times 1.5. And you can see that's 714. So I'm gonna make the width 714. And you can see the height is 288. So I want to also do that times one and a half. So, so 288 times 1.5, that's 432. And so I'm going to change the height to 432. All right, and again, we will save it and we'll preview. Okay, now you can see the original one that is small and also required scrolling. And you'll see the one that I adapted, that I made the uh, page width and also made it bigger. 
So this is a great one that people can read well on your site. They can scroll through it. Okay, so that's Word. Now this process is very similar for the other apps, so I'll speed through them a little bit, but I'm also going to show you some differences to watch out for. But before I do that, if you're enjoying this video so far, I'd love it if you'd like the video and also if you'd subscribe and click on the notification bell. All right, now let's get into PowerPoint. Okay, so I've got a just a PowerPoint template here that I'm going to demonstrate with. And let's select it, click on embed, and we're just going to grab the code. Okay, I'm gonna make this width 804. And the height, 654 and we'll see how that does okay now i made it a little bit too big <laughs> but you can kind of play around with the dimensions and make it the right size so that was a little too wide for my site and you might find that your site can accommodate that mine certainly would if it didn't have the sidebar here but at any rate you get the idea of you make it you change the dimensions to fit your site now one thing that i love about powerpoint is that if you scroll through the slides, or the user does, if there are animations, the animations will play in the embed. So that's pretty awesome that you can actually create the slideshow with animations and the animations will play. Okay, now let's do Excel. Let's look at Excel. Again, click, select the file, Click on embed. Now, one thing that's kind of cool about Excel is if you scroll down, you'll see that it says customize how this embedded workbook will appear to others. That option isn't on Word and PowerPoint, at least not at this time. Hopefully it'll come in the future. So I clicked on that and you'll see that I can hide grid lines. I can hide the row and column headers. I can decide not to include a download link if I check that. And also I can show what sheet to start with, change the dimensions more easily, and so on. Now, I love the fact that you can choose not to include a download link. And I'll show you why here in just a minute. So let's go ahead and copy the code. And we're going to embed that. Save the draft. So before I show you the Excel spreadsheet, I want to show you something in the other files that I embedded. If you click on this little drop down here, you'll notice that people can download a copy. All right, they can do that on the Word document. They can do that on, you can download a copy. But on the Excel spreadsheet, since I unselected that, I deselected that, they do not have the option to download that. Now, this is a great thing. If you wanted people to be able to view a document but not download it, it's awesome that you can do that with Excel. I'm hoping that in the future they will make that possible on uh, PowerPoint and Word as well, but right now it's only available in Excel. By the way, speaking of that, one thing that you can do if you want to protect your content is you can use watermarks and things like that in the documents, okay? But for right now, with Excel, you can make it to where people cannot download the file. And while I didn't demonstrate it, as is the case with the other ones, you can change the dimensions to make it fit your site better. All right, now let's take a look at OneNote. And let me tell you that OneNote is the one that I'm the most disappointed in. And I'm gonna explain why. You'll see, it'll be very, very clear to you. As is with the others, I'm going to embed the OneNote file and save it and then preview it. Now, notice what you have here with OneNote. You have this little teeny tiny icon. You don't actually see the OneNote in WordPress. If you click on the name of the notebook or on the icon, it opens it up in OneDrive. So that's a very different process than the other ones. Now you might think, well, at least it has the little icon and people can do it, but you know, that icon is just tiny. What if you wanna make it bigger? Logically, you would be able to use the same process that you do with the other ones, meaning changing the width and the height. 
Let's go ahead and do that now. So for demonstration purposes, I am just going to double it. I'm gonna make it 106. And I will make the height 240. So it should be double the size that it was. Or excuse me, I messed up here. I'm gonna make the width 206. It was 98, I'm going to make it 206 and the height 240. All right, let's save draft. And again, we'll preview. And when we preview it, you see that the OneNote notebook is still this teeny tiny little icon. And I experimented with different sizes and I did it multiple times. And regardless of what I did, I still had just this little icon. I'm gonna just, to prove it, let's do one more time. I'm gonna make this 412. by 480 and that should make it a respectable size and you can see it's still just this teeny tiny little thumbnail so I would say that at this point anyway perhaps it'll change in the future but right now the OneNote one is kind of a fail I mean if you want to include it like a little icon there that links to the notebook you can but it certainly doesn't work as well as the other options. Finally, I wanna show you how to embed a non-Microsoft file type, which is a PDF. Now, PDFs are great because you can use them as lead magnets and you can redirect people after they opt into your list to a page with the PDF that's embedded. And in this case, it's good that people can download it. You can also use this option in courses. Maybe you have a PDF that you want people to be able to read on the web page or download. This is a great option for that. So let's go ahead and click it, embed, generate, and let's go ahead and paste it in just like we did with the others. Now the PDF option has the same issue as Word with the whole scroll bar thing. And just like with the others, you can change the zoom level to be page width or full page or any of these other options and click on OK. And then it shows the full page. Now this is still rather small. So again, as was the case with the others, is you can change the dimensions the width and the height to make them more full page. I'm gonna use the same ones that I used up here for the Word document. And you'll note that now the PDF is a much better size for reading. By the way, you'll notice that this shows that it's a Word document but if you go to download a copy, you'll see that it downloads it as a PDF, okay? So even though it shows that it's a Word document, it downloads as a PDF. I hope that you enjoyed this video on how to embed Microsoft Office documents on your blog. And I'd really appreciate it if you'd like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And, and don't forget to click on the little bell icon so you'll get notified whenever I put out new content. Thanks so much and happy creating.